Hello, Marcel, the wood butcher. Uh, got another project I'm doing as kind of a gift. I have a neighbor of mine. Uh, him and his family immigrated legally to the United States from Russia and the Ukraine. Uh, they've been my neighbors probably about... 10, 12 years, whatever. Very nice people. Very nice people. Well, anyway, the wife of the husband visits from Ukraine every summer, usually in June, for like uh, two months. And last year, last summer, I really got to meet uh, Victoria's mom from the Ukraine who communication is a challenge because she understands basically no English at all. But her son-in-law and her daughter translate for me. Well, anyway, we've built a great relationship and it all started where she works in the Ukraine in a factory as a quality assurance inspector I really don't know what quality assurance is in the Ukraine, but, but it's probably pretty good. They're probably ISO certified and stuff like that. I won't even comment on that. But anyway, on uh, my neighbor's shed in the backyard, his doors rotted out. And he was asking me if I knew somebody that can build him some new doors. Well, <laughs> guess what the wood butcher did? Yeah. <laughs> The wood butcher chimed in and said, I can do that. And it's just like hitting that red button in Staples. That was easy. I gave him a bill of materials of what lumber to buy. He bought it all. And uh, bang, uh, within one weekend, I had two new doors on his shed with the, you know, the little barn molding and all that crap, whatever. Got, but anyway, I digress. This wonderful, wonderful woman, Victoria's mother from the Ukraine, is here. And she brought me, kind of like uh, if you were ever in the service and stationed overseas and you get what they call a care package, or even if you went to New York Military Academy or any private school or college or wherever and you got what's called a care package, <laughs> I won't go in to what was in the care packages. But uh, anyway, she just arrived back from the Ukraine uh, day before yesterday. Uh, no, day before yesterday. I lie. I lie. Saturday. Just this past Saturday. Three days ago. Right? And she brought me a bag full of chocolates that I can't even read the friggin' labels on, but damn, they taste good. And a bag full of the, they look like mini bagels, but taste like pretzels, but with a great honey taste. I mean, they, they're fantastic. But the feast of resistance was... She knows I like vodka. So she brought me a bottle of some vodka that comes from the Ukraine that's mixed with honey and, are you ready for this, red chili peppers. But let me tell you something. This stuff goes down smooth. If it was a, a, a tangible item that you can touch, it would be smooth as a baby's ass. It's great. So, I, I guess the point of this video is, I want to make her a gift to take back to the Ukraine. She's here for two months. So, and I'm thinking what I offered to make her, because I noticed she had a, you know, a Christian cross on her neck, and, uh, I was going to make her one of those, you know, the 3D ones I make, you know, tri-color, this and that. And uh, the, the translation was that they're not in the custom of hanging Christian crosses 
on the walls in their homes and apartments in the Ukraine. Okay, you learn something new every day. Oh, by the way, I also asked her how things firsthand, from a firsthand source, were going in the Ukraine with the bullshit that's going on there, and she was very, very informative. So anyway, I decided that uh, I have leftover wood that are approximately uh, three quarters of an inch, whatever, left over from these guys that I make, which are actually cylindrical suet bird feeders. They look like this when they're done. But I hack the corners off to make them look a little better. Ah, you probably got some views of my sloppy shop as well. I don't even know what I just took a picture of. I'll see it when, when I play this back. And you know what? I don't care. So what I decided, I have all these pieces of American red cedar left over as scrap from where the, these, uh, excuse me, I'm going to make you dizzy again. Well, you're used to that with me because you know this goddamn thing never lets me change from front view to back view like it's supposed to. But, okay, when I make these guys, I have this piece that I cut out 12 inches long. So I decided, you know what? I offered to make her a beautiful candle holder. She can't, I, I, I can't take the candle holder back on the plane or candles. Ah, I said, well, I'll give you the candle holder and mail you the candles, whatever. I, no, 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 no. Didn't want the candle holder. But she loves to cook. So I decided I'm going to take those pieces, and I have a lot of them from all the bird feeders I make, because I usually buy an 8-foot 4x4 four four cedar, American red cedar, and, you know, cut it in 1-foot sections and then cut the corners off them, you know, to make them look like that cross. So I have a lot of that stock. So what I decided to do, I said, you know what? She can't take a candle holder back, but she can take a cutting board. So here's what I'm in the process of making for this older Ukrainian sweetheart of mine. I'm going to try to do this the best I can. It's all clamped together. I just finished the first round of sanding with 80 grit sandpaper from raw cedar. And uh, this is what we got so far. Well, I'm going to turn it into a high-end small cutting board for her with the anti-slip on the bottom, which is basically just, uh, well, this crap here, you know, this, this stuff, All right? Hello, peekaboo, I see you, All right? It's, the, you know, it's, it's the plastic non-stip shelf, uh, excuse the backlighting, like I said, I'm still a one-man show here, working off a friggin' cell phone you know, to uh, <laughs> to pass these videos on to you. And that's what I'm going to mount on the back of it. I'm debating on whether I want to alternate the colors because this is actually made of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pieces of wood you can see they're clamped together, but fit tightly. I have them sanded level at the 80 grit level. I got to go over it one more time because when I took the rubber mallet to it, because when you're making things like these, there's two ways to do it. You know, that <laughs> you can just, you know, sand and sand and sand, but you got to 
you know, sometimes when you put your clamps on, you have a little bit of a gap between your baseboard and, and what you're actually sanding. So, you know, do a pass, makes it feel good. Take this guy, the rubber mallet. Tap it down so it doesn't feel smooth again because now you've got true level according to the board that you, or work surface you're working on. Sand it again with 80 grit. This is a cutting board. You know, it, 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 every 32nd of an inch or 64th of an inch counts when you want to run your fingers across. Because if you're going to run a knife across this, you want your finger to not feel any resistance at all. Okay? I'm almost to that point. I'm to the point I'm going to do the third 80 grit pass, then I'm going to switch to 120 grit. But I just thought I'd share this with you. And uh, like I said, I'm undecided uh, whether I want to alternate the, uh, you know, since I am obviously gluing the wood together to make it a plank as a good cutting board, uh, I'm debating with the idea of making it multicolored or just, since it is cedar, just oiling it and see how she likes it. I'll keep you informed, okay? Hey, the mind is always working on something to make. I got another project coming up too that's uh well let's see you already know about the the one project i was commissioned on from another nyma alumni but i've had another project working that i'm working on that uh, you know for home here and another project i'm working on for another friend uh, and, and i'll tell you what <laughs> i love doing it i love it I love the free thinking, the figuring it out, and, and, and producing something that makes me proud and the person that receives it happy. Okay? This is Marcel, the wood butcher. Semper Fi. Now go make some sawdust. But protect your eyes and lungs. Take care.